Uh, so Formula Student uh, is basically a group of uh, 110 students or somewhere around that number who all come together and design, uh, fabricate and race uh, uh, basically a bespoke car uh, to compete against up to, there's about 400 universities across the, across the globe who are doing it. Um, so basically we start off with a, a basic kind of design specification and, and a set of rules that are given to you and then you've got to try and come up with the best solution really to make sure that you've got the fastest car that's the best performing in acceleration, skid pad, sprint and endurance and then also the static events at the same time which is the design, business and the cost event. Um, so yeah, it's a real challenge and it's something that lasts a whole year. You basically, as soon as you've finished at the previous competition, you already start thinking about designing the next car. And uh, it's just a, a brilliant engineering challenge, I suppose, and really it just gives you something to put all that hard work that you, all the things that you're learning in lectures into something that's real, you know, and that's really rewarding when you come to competition and you do a great job. So. So basically this year, as a former student team leader, I'm, I'm running the team. I'm looking after the 110 students that have joined up for a former student this year. Um, it's my job to look after building the car and taking it to Silverstone, Germany, and also uh, one third competition in Europe. Uh, it, yeah, the whole thing kind of hinges on me, I suppose, really. So all the deadlines, all the, you know, the, the, the main kind of aim for the car for the year is, is all kind of directed by me so it's my job to kind of look after everybody and make sure that when we get to Silverstone we do the best job we possibly can. It doesn't matter what kind of experience you've got as uh, so long as you're committed and, and really interested and, and you're willing to put the time in and then everybody's invited so um, just if you've got a good interest in cars and, and you want to do something a little bit different with your time uh, then come and find me basically let's get involved. Fox and Brooks Racing has, has actually got quite a good record uh, within former student. Uh, we're constantly competing with uh, Harbourture and Bath as, as the number one UK team and uh, hopefully this year we're going to get it back. Um, in 2012 we were top UK team and we finished seventh overall at uh, former student Silverstone. And we were first in the skid pad event twice uh, throughout the year so we did a really good job in 2012. Fell off it a bit last year but hopefully now I'm in the lead for 2014 and we can get top UK team back and uh, maybe aim even higher than that. Being team leader kind of um, strengthens my studies, I suppose, because uh, it kind of gives me something that's not uh, quite so technically based, I suppose. You know, um, I'm really interested in having a, quite a rounded package uh, by the time I go to look for jobs and things like that. So, uh, not just, I haven't just got experience in the, in the theoretical side, you know, the maths and the physics that, that you learn on in your degree, but also. I've got experience of managing a team, you know, working with people, making sure that deadlines get met, motivating people, things like that, you know, they're all really important. So I've been involved in Formula Student since day one. I've uh, had the opportunity to drive the car. I've had the opportunity to work with the race engineering side of it. So learn how to set up a car uh, in different conditions, wet and dry, being the UK, it's always raining. Um, I've had the chance to work with different types of powertrain. So our electric powertrain team and our um, petrol powertrain. Uh, both of the experience with both of those helped me get my placement with Mercedes, which is really good. I've also had a chance to learn all the stuff that I've learned in lectures, so aerodynamics, suspension and chassis design, and apply that to a practical application hours after learning it in class rather than years or, uh, tens or decades away. I'm involved in the former student team, I have been since my first year here and for the first four years I, was work I worked on the electric vehicle project to produce a fully electric uh, former student racing car which is a small single seat race car which we take to Silverstone every year um, to compete against all the best universities in the world. To go and work in motorsport, there's so many graduates who have got former student on their CV, it's almost a prerequisite now. You have to have done some former student and to demonstrate you can design something and work in a team to get a good job. It's all about the kind of ethos embedded in, within the, the department, 
we have a very strong former student team which has oh, 150 student members um, and they, they really start to work like a real team, like a real motorsport team. Uh, and we're in a facility that's 24-7. So they'll come in, uh, do their studies, do the assessments, and then they'll start work again almost on the former student car. And they'll come in on weekends and they'll have that kind of um, environment which they'll experience within the industry itself. One of the big successes that we're very much noted for is Formula Student, where we run a very successful uh, racing team. Formula Student challenges students to design and build and actually race a racing car. Um, it's, it's a very interesting competition. Lots of teams around the world have enormous budgets. At Brooks, we don't have an enormous budget. We have a budget, but it's, uh, it's a much more modest budget. And despite that modesty, our students actually perform extremely well. And of course, that's the key thing. Because in motorsport and automotive engineering, how many times will your boss say, you've got as much money as you want to design? It's never going to happen. So designing to a budget and producing performance is the key. And uh, in that area, we excel you know, really above almost all universities. Uh, we do extremely well. There's a lot of learning that goes on there.